Today I'm going to show you how to install Oracle Apex. For this we will use Oracle Apex 19.1 and Oracle Database 19c. Oracle Apex is a rapid application development framework. You can develop web-based application without typing any code or very little code. Oracle Apex comes with Oracle Database and you can upgrade it without any cost. Today I'm going to show you how to do it. At first I'll show you how to install Oracle Database 19c and then I will show you how to install Oracle Apex 19.1 I have downloaded Oracle 19c and extracted in sortbk folder now I am launching installer keep first option selected cause we are going to configure database also I am installing it on desktop. If you have server, then you can select server class. Use virtual account. You can keep it as it is or you can change Oracle based directory name here. Global database name RCL and laggable database name RCL PDB. Please remember it because we will need it while installing Oracle Apex. Give a complex password here for sys or system user. Installation process will start if I click on install and it will take a huge amount of time. So we are pausing our video here and we will come back after completion of installation. Now we are gonna start installation of Oracle Apex. Go to apex.oracle.com and download latest version of Oracle Apex. You can download multilingual or English version only package. Unzip the software package and Please do not change the Apex folder name. Remember Apex folder location. We are going to run installation script from here using Windows PowerShell. Run Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Change directory location to Apex folder location. Now run SQL plus. Type username sys as sysdba and give appropriate password. First check is there any version already installed or not. result is no row selected it means there is no fx installation under container database but it may be under pluggable database so we need to check both now we are going to change container mode to see is there any installation of apex under pluggable database what's pdb is the our pluggable database name Now running the command again to check existence of Oracle Apex. Yes, 9.1 version is already exist. Actually, we have uh, installed it previously. For the sake of this tutorial, we are going to uninstall it and then reinstall the software again. Uninstallation process has been started and it will take some time so we are going to pause the video now and we will come back after completion of uninstallation. Previous installation of Apex has been removed and it is asking for exit so we are exiting it.
best practice is to remove installation folder also. Extract the software again. Apex has been extracted. Now we are running PowerShell again. Changing directory to Apex installation directory. Changing container mode to pluggable database. Type pluggable database name or CLPDB. Now I am going to run installation command. Installation process is running and it may consume several minutes. Installation completed without error. Now create username and password. Keep username as admin. Type a valid email ID and give a complex password. Run these two commands to copy images folder. Getting error, maybe something wrong. Let's check it. I have typed the wrong path. I am correcting it. It may take one or two minutes. Now I am running second command again. It may also take two or three minutes. Image load finished. Now change the port number to 8080. Unlock an anonymous user account. Unlock XDB username. Now try to log in Apex using those URL. Getting error. Maybe XDB user is not unlocked yet. Let's try it again. Changing container mode. User has been altered. Try to log in Apex again. Excellent, now we are in login phase. It means installation successful. Workspace yet, so we need to log in as administrator and create workspace. To do so, we have to go down a little bit. Click Administration. Use your admin username and password to log in Apex. Finally, we are in Oracle Apex admin portal. 
In next video, I'll show you how to create workspace to develop enterprise application. So subscribe to my channel to stay connected. If you have any question, please comment below.